Can you tell me about your day? Can you tell me about your hopes for your health? Um, how is your health? How does it affect you? What would you like to be doing that you can't do? Um, so the restrictions. Um, tell me about you know who who's around you, who you love, who loves you, where you live, how that is for you, how easy are the tasks of living? How is your job affecting you? They're naive because you don't like even if you get an answer that's unexpected that stimulates curiosity so you, you keep exploring rather than judging and ticking boxes. By asking naive questions and the more open-ended they are the more scope the patient has to tell you about what's important to them and when that happens they'll, they'll use words that you can use as cues later. Um, I think what motivates people is feeling hopeful and also f having their confidence acknowledged and by that I mean asking them how they even got here today given what's going on, what are the values behind that you know, and quite often you'll hear a sense of dignity or pride or hopefulness for the future or some sort of goal they're working towards. Once you've tuned into that, that's a really helpful tool in motivational interviewing. As a GP, we tend to be very medical centered. We tend to have our little parameters that we're aiming for, better cholesterol, you know, better levels of blood pressure. Um, whereas the patient may be tuned completely on not being so emotional when the kids are stressing them or um, planning towards the next holiday. And so I think what helps is to, to tune into those things and to recognise when they align with what you want to do and when they don't. And if they don't, just being clear about, okay, I'd like to deal with your blood pressure, but let's deal with that stress and the kids and your sleep. And we'll put that on hold for a little while. So I think being patient, being appreciative that the patient is the expert in their own life. You're not. You're an expert in the medical side, so you compare those two ex You're constantly consulting. It's a consulting room, so you consult with them. They're an expert in their life. They consult with you. You're an expert in medicine, and then you plan together. 